Earlier this month, the Environmental Protection Agency designated two forever chemicals known as PFOAs and PFOS as hazardous chemicals under Superfund law. It requires the polluters to remove PFOS from the environment. Our own Jake Forrest spoke with a DNR water expert to learn more about what the new designations will look like for Wisconsin. Jake. Dan, Jessica, PFAS chemicals are found in everything from carpets to toys to nonstick cookware. And as we know, Wisconsin has seen increased levels of these chemicals in drinking water across the state, which the EPA is now addressing on a national scale. But the good news is that Wisconsin is much better suited to implement these new federal standards than many other states because of the work that has already been done. Think of them as uh, dangerous chemicals that are very practical, and that's why they were made. Uh, but they don't break down in the environment. And we need to address it. With new regulations set by the EPA this month, the responsibility for cleaning PFAS chemicals from the environment will be shifted from taxpayers to the polluters themselves. DNR public drinking water specialist Adam DeWeese detailed how the DNR now faces the task of drastically reducing the presence of PFAS chemicals in public drinking water. Right now, uh, the public water systems in Wisconsin are operating, operating under state standards and that level is 70 parts per trillion for PFOA and PFOS. The new federal standards are four parts per trillion for PFOA and four parts per trillion for PFOS. But how small is a part per trillion? DeWeese said to think of it as one drop of water in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. To show just how small of an amount of PFAS can be considered toxic, DeWeese used nitrate testing standards as a comparison. And we think about that in parts per million. It's at a, a level that, you know, is toxic at a much higher amount than PFAS, which is very toxic at um, parts per trillion. So, you know, thousand-fold less is something that we're concerned about. And Wisconsin is one of the few states that already had its own PFAS guidelines in place before the EPA's announcement of the new standards on April 19th, which DeWeese says will help speed up the process of removing PFAS. Our public water systems in Wisconsin, you know, they, they stepped up. They did the sampling. They spent a lot of money on this, and now we, we're in better shape than most of the other states. And DeWeese said to know the water that you are drinking and make sure that it's safe and ask your neighbors if they've had issues with their water. And if you're really concerned, he said to have your water sampled and to see data on public and well water in your area. The DNR provides links on their website that we will also provide in this story on our website, WJFW.com.